Costa Rica has been uh, one of the fastest growing economy in Central America over the last uh, few years. My name is Jacob De Toni, I'm the deputy editor of uh, FDI magazine, and I'm here today with uh, the president of Costa Rica, Mr. Luis Guillermo Solis. President, thank you for being uh, with us today. Thank you very much, I'm delighted to be here. So Costa Rica has been uh, one of the uh, most and um, fastest growing uh, economies in Central America for the last few years, actually. So what is uh, in a nutshell, the, the current business environment in your country? Well, it's very positive. We've been growing uh, more than the rest of the countries in Latin America at a 4.2% rate. The uh, unemployment situation remains a significant issue for us, but it's, it's, it's descending, it's, it's becoming smaller. Um, the monetary situation is very stable. Inflation is virtually zero. We have been lucky because investments not, uh, are significant. We continue to enjoy uh, very good investments from all over the world. Uh, our uh, investment numbers uh, indicate that we're moving towards the sectors, the service sectors, which is very strong. Uh, tourism is growing at a two-digit uh, pace. We're getting new airlines to visit Costa Rica, five European uh, airlines already, including British Airways, uh, Air France, um, and uh, this means that the country is picking up, the, the, the economy is growing, uh, and we would like to stimulate that further. You know, and this means uh, more investments in infrastructure. We're looking at uh, a very significant opportunity for investors in the uh, medical device sector, which is uh, one of the largest we've been able to develop. And the country is at the edge of, of jumping into research and development. So innovation, technology, energy are areas where we would like to, to see uh, more growth in the next couple of years. So how are you planning to attract investors in these sectors? Well, we have a, a, very, a very solid strategy that has developed over the last 25 years. We have agencies that specialize on this. We have incentive laws that allow for these investments to come. Costa Rica has grown to become a very diversified economy. It's one of the most open countries in the world. We have over 13 uh, trade agreements, uh, which means that we are basically in touch with over 160 partners to which we export from Costa Rica, uh, most of the largest, including the European Union and the United States. Uh, we have a free trade agreement with China. And, uh, and we are also seeking to excel in, in business practices. We are now officially seeking admittance to the OECD, and I hope that this would be completed by the end of my mandate in 2018. What would be the key priorities for the last two years of your presidency? Well, undoubtedly the fiscal reform. We are currently uh, seeking to solve our, that issue, which is the only s s significant macroeconomic factor that's holding us back. We have a, um, a fiscal deficit of 6%, which we would like to cut in more than half. We have a proposal that's already being discussed in Congress to that regard. So that's one priority. The second priority is to uh, end up with a number of uh, important infrastructure projects, which we have at this point. Uh, that means more b b uh, roads, railroads, uh, a port, we are be developing a very important uh, uh, terminal for containers in, in the Caribbean with uh, the investments from Merck's APM terminals. Uh, we are into that. Uh, a very significant investment in education. Most of our uh, uh, and fundamental attract, attraction of Costa Rica is the quality of its workforce, of, of the talent, the human talent that we have, which, con which continues to excel. So we have a commitment to invest up to 8% of our GDP in education. So far, we're almost there, 7.89% of our GDP. This is not something accidental. We've been doing this for 150 years. So uh, to keep up with that pace and reach the constitutional mandate of 8% is something that I would, I would want to do. And thirdly, obviously, to accede to the OECD status. That for us is very important because it means that we would become uh, a country with the best practices available, which is li uh, likely to, to become also an attraction for investors. Presidente Solis, thank you very much for your time and for being with us today. Muchas gracias. Encantado.